Hi, I'm Martin Salter, the National Campaigns Coordinator for the Angling Trust. I'm here on the beautiful Little River Whitewater at Potbridge in Hampshire uh, as part of the Environment Agency-led Rivers Week. This is about bringing together people from the Wild Trout Trust, for, uh, just ordinary volunteers, people from the, the Wildlife Trust themselves, angling interests, anyone with a real interest in rivers and our environment to show how we really can make a difference. We can improve habitat, we can provide cover for fish from from uh, fish eating birds and other predators, uh, we can create uh, spawning uh, gravels uh, where, where, where the fish can recruit successfully, we can increase the flow and we can basically undo some of the damage that mankind's done to our rivers over the years. And the Angler Trust is here to, to show its support for this fantastic initiative. Uh, we think the debate uh, around our fisheries has to focus on habitat and we really applaud the Environment Agency and all the volunteers who've turned up today, you know, on a pretty wet, soggy, uh, uh, soggy uh, Tuesday morning to really try and make a difference to, to one of Hampshire's almost unsung chalk streams. Here we've got a, a shallow glide that goes up onto a ramp of gravel, potentially fantastic spawning location. What we're trying to do is mimic something similar to the other margin. You see you've got that, that lovely little um, tangled mattress of, of bramble in a shallow margin with no flow. That works quite well. It'd be nice to have a bit more cover down this side. So we're just going to use some of the brushings and make like a, the top end of a massive witch's broom, pop it in so it mimics like a weed bed, a little tangle of branches to protect fish. Where you get a tree that overhangs like this, you've got high shading, it's much more valuable if you can fold the trunk into the channel and make what we call an undershot deflector. So Jim is just going to put a post in there to secure this, but this is a living deflector and the way we've done that is to hinge it. It's, it's basically it's like laying a hedge. You take a chunk of the outside of the branch off and allow the bark to fold inwards. That will keep the tree alive uh, and with any luck it will start to, to sprout upwards and it means that it's still attached to the bank, so it's not a flood risk, but when the level comes up a bit, the flow hits the underside of the trunk, drives down, helps to scour a little pool with the roof over the top. Perfect for chub, perfect for trout.